All right, folks, we're going to get our head in tune on this, this video. That's what this video is about. Stay tuned. We're going to get our heads in tune. Now do it! All right, folks, welcome back. Thank you for tuning in and keeping it young. <laughs> I figured on this video, I'm going to tune the head on this banjo. I'll show it to you here. Get up where you can see it good enough, maybe. Flying Eagle inlay. I think that's what they call it. Damn, that thing's heavy, man. Wow. Thought I would show you how, how to tune a banjo. One of the many ways to tune a banjo head. People do it all kind of different ways. They're like drum heads, you know. You have to have that tuned. I mean, well, people like them tuned different. I always like mine in G. In G or A tuning. Uh, now, a friend of mine had this banjo, and he put this head on it, and I have no idea what he, if he even tuned it to anything. Some people just put the head on, tighten the brackets up, and let it go. So, anyways, I'm going to get you, I'm going to get you, I'm going to get you, and bring you over here, and uh, show you all the steps to tightening the, or loosening, whichever it is, a banjo head. So, let's, uh, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, this is a cool old banjo. Strings have been on it forever. Uh, you got thumb screws. Usually there's three. Sometimes there's four. This one's got three on it. No, this one does have four on it. Okay. So you got to remove those. Wow, that one's going to be tight. It is tight. I don't know if I can get it with my fingers or not. The last person that was in here, he's a big guy, muscular, big, strong, young dude. Like I say, he's the one who put his head on this banjo. It's a, I think it's a Remo head, frosted. There's not very much frosting on that. Man, I hate to get hold of that thumb screw with pliers. I think that's what it's going to take, though. I'll just lay these. Right here conveniently out out of the way. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that. There, I got it. I got it. Wow, that was tight. They don't have to be that tight. Riley, they don't. So how y'all doing, man? How's the pandemic treating you all? All right. See, all you gotta do now is just lift the banjo up out of the resonator. Okay. Let's see what it looks like. That's what it looks like with the resonator off. This banjo used to have a pickup in it. Uh, I can't see without my glasses, but I want to make sure that's a Remo head. Yeah, it is. I recognize the crown under the tailpiece there. But that's what it looks like. It's got the uh, Scruggs detuners on it there, you see. And a geared fifth string key. And there's what this end of it looks like. Alright, let me get rid of some stuff here. I'm going to get rid of this resonator. Alright, tuning heads. I'm going to have to go get a wrench. I think that's a quarter inch. All these little brackets here. All these brackets right here. Tightens this ring. And pulls the ring down and tightens the head. And like I say, people tune them. The way I do it, there's a bunch of different ways. So before you start telling me you're doing it wrong, <laughs> there's a bunch of different ways you can do this. I'm just going to show you the way I do it. The way I have did it for all my life, actually. Because I played banjo from four years old. Uh, I don't know how old I was when I quit. 29, I think, or 30? 30, yeah. So I've worked on a bunch of these. You hear I don't know if the camera will get how much different that sounds. First thing you want to do is make sure the banjo is in standard A440 tuning. And I, I think this is. I, didn't, I checked it, but I didn't look to make sure the tuner was on 440. And it is. That's a little bit flat. Both of those is a little bit flat. But it's good enough because it's going to take time for me to tune it if I do it. I can hear that G chord, okay? The way I do this is just hold the banjo up, mute the strings. I don't know if you're going to hear, you'll hear a tone. I don't know if the camera's going to pick this up or not though. 
if there's a tone there and you want to match that tone with noting your fourth string here I'll bet you a hundred dollar bill the camera is not going to pick that up that's an A note it's a little bit it's a little bit sharp okay so it's it's a little bit sharper than the A note, but the tuning's a little bit low. So I'm gonna have to tune it up, I guess. At least the fourth string. are touching man. Perfect. Alright, let's try this again. I hope the camera's picking that up, man, that note. It's an A note, but it's still sharp. Should hear those notes. So I mean, hear the high note better. See, I'm just muting the strings here. So what we got to do is loosen the head. Let me go get tools. I'll bring you back and show you how to do that. Hold on. memory serves pretty good it is a quarter inch just a quarter inch socket will do the trick and I'm going to turn uh, it don't take very much to make a difference man so I'm just going to crack these a little bit backwards loose them just you know there's what are they two 18, four, 20 22 24 uh, over you know 24 of them that's going to make a lot of difference. If I loosen it a quarter of a turn, that's too much, you know, for that many of them. So, let's do it. Wow, that one is loose. Look at this, man. I can turn that with my finger. Wow. I've not been in this banjo for since I got it back. That one was tight. Okay, I'm going to go... I'm not going to turn that one because it's loose. I can turn it with my finger. Turn this one with my finger too. The uh, thing you want to do is, if you see how I'm doing this, you want to do work in this direction, you know. Next I'll do this one and then the one opposite of it over here. Then I'll do this one. The one office of it, of it, you know, keep it evenly as you can. And your heartaches will be much lesser. <laughs> I can't believe how loose those are. That's one back. There's two back. Two back. When I say three back, I'm talking about there's a bracket right here and right here. And that's what those thumb screws that hold the resonator on uh, butt up against to hold the resonator on. Uh, and I'm counting like one back, two back, three back from that and this. Here's three back. And three back on this side. 
Boy, they're not very tight at all. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. You get the idea. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can't believe how loose they are. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, so loose. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's going to be three up from the center back here. So we we'll start counting from back here now. This head may be busted. I loaned it to a friend of mine. That's something I don't usually do, but I trusted him. And he changed the head. The head I had on there was worn out, man, where I played it all the time. All right. I turned them about a sixteenth of a turn, each one of them. the camera's getting that. That's it. It's in tune. It's tuned to an A this head is right now. Boy, those are so loose, man. I gotta to tune it up higher than that. In fact, let's do that because th those are really, really loose. They should be tighter than that. So, uh, I'll back them off about a sixteenth of a turn. I'm gonna go quite a bit with them. Probably a quarter, almost a quarter of a turn. Let's see what that tunes the head to. See that one there's pretty hard to turn. This one's not. That tells me the head may be uneven. And it may bust. It may already be busted. I didn't look at that. Probably should have. Okay, here's two back, two back past these brackets I'm talking about, three back, and three back, four back, four back, four, five. Now we start counting from these brackets back here. That's the fourth one up from one, two, three, four, no, it's fifth one up. So over here, one, two, three, four, five. Four. And one, two, three, four. And one, two, three. One, two, three. I mean, it's socket won't stay on there. One, two. Two. Some people actually use torque wrenches on these torque them all at the same thing. I just always did it this way. It's tuned to a B now. No way. I'm going to tighten it some more. There's a lip right around here. All the way around. This is your tension hoop. And you want to try to keep that distance from the head to the top of the lip as even as you can. Just I just eyeball it, you know, try to make sure I'm not tightening some brackets tighter than I am others. That looks pretty even. And the head doesn't look busted. He put a used head on it though. I do know that. Now I can't remember if the head it was on it was busted when he when he took it or not though. Let's go a little bit more with this puppy. You can drastically change the sound of a banjo depending on where you adjust your head to. Like I say, there's a blue million ways, man, to, you know, to tune a banjo head. 
I've always just gotten used to doing it this way. Did I turn that yet? It was awful loose. Okay, that's the first one back. I think I already did, but I'll do it again. Let's make sure that I turn them all this, about the same amount. That's two. Here's three. Here's three. I wish that socket would stay on there. Here's four. And here's four. Four, four, five. Okay, five is three up from this bracket. And one, two, three, four, five. That ain't five. One, two, three. Yeah, it is. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, shit, man, I lost my place. <laughs> Let me just check these and see if they're tight. I might get started talking, man. I shouldn't talk when I do this. You really need to pay attention to what you're doing. Let me go back over and check them. They make special tools just for this. And you want to maybe check your uh, tailpiece too because your tailpiece mounts on this hoop here. Your tailpiece down here it mounts hooks onto the hoop or rests on it. Sometimes when you tighten the, the ring, the hoop down, to tighten the head up, you uh, have to pull the tailpiece down too with it. I'm still hearing an A. No. That's a B now. For sure. I doubt very seriously if the cam camera's picking that that tone up, the tone of that. But that's the way I've did that for years. And then I've just put the resonator back on it and we're done. So just remember to work evenly. Don't talk while you do it like me and, for, and lose your account. <laughs> uh, work evenly as you can, you know. If you're gonna start up here with either one of these, it doesn't matter. Start with this one, then do this one. Do this one, and then the second one. Third one, third one. Fourth, fourth, that's the where I start calling it one back because these brackets right here. So, fourth, fourth, fifth, fifth and do that. And uh, you know, you'll keep the head straight and even all the way. Count, you know, watch how much you turn each one of them exactly the same. And uh, they're tight now, but they're it's not very tight, it don't feel like it. I, that head couldn't be uh, producing the B note and be busted. But I do know he put a used head on it. The head I played on, it was all wore out here and up here where I'd rest my hand, you know, playing backup stuff. I was just checking this intonation. Banjo is one of the easiest instruments to intonate. You just move the bridge, you know, forward or back. This one seems to be pretty well on the money. Perfect. It always did though. Hit the eight perfect. It's a little tune low. Oh, there it is. So, anyways, hope somebody learned something from that how to uh, tune your banjo head. I'll, I'll do that over there. I don't think you're going to be able to hear it, though. Hopefully you can hear that. It's tuned to B. And that's way, way, way tighter than I ever liked them. Uh, <laughs> But, uh, I don't know, that head may be cracked down or somewhere. That shouldn't have been that loose. And it tuned to A like it was. Or a little above A. When that head cracks, I mean, you know it right away. Your brackets will get loose like that. and uh, But they won't tighten up. It'll just keep ripping around there. Anyways, I hope that helped you guys and ladies. And uh, thanks for tuning in. And I'll see you on a, another guitar video or something pretty soon. <laughs> Cheers to you. I'll see you later. Bye.
on the channel just search for banjo and it'll come up I only got one video of me playing the banjo back when I could play it in 1985 check it out 